All right, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, collectors of adult age, Dave here uh, with a brand new video. You'll see in just a moment, I have a selection of Masters of the Universe action figures. Right up front here, we're starting this video with uh, Mosquito. The reason will be uh, explained in a minute. But I can go up. This is the castle, Grayskull, from the 2002 or so series. We've got Squeeze over here. Coming on down, we've got Classic Prince Adam. We've got a He-Man. We've got a Skeletor. We've got Moss Man. We've got another He-Man. we got Gwildor. We've got... Masters of the Universe Classics Gwildor. We've got that He-Man. And over here, on this side, we have Dark Despot Skeletor. God Skeletor. And He-Man. Rebel Leader He-Man. Now, those guys are Super 7. The very, very, very tail end of the Masters of the, of the Universe Classics toy line. From... Mattel Super 7. Now I'm going to give you a wide shot. I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to reveal that this is an unboxing video. Be right back folks. Alright folks. As you can see there's a big ass box in front of me now. This is from Paracon. <laughs> this is something I've been waiting for for a few months and before that years a definitive book of the He-Man Masters of the Universe toy lines this should be amazing we'll get to it in just a second Ugh, gotta be careful so I don't knock anything over this box is hefty. This is my first look inside the box. As well as yours. So let's do it together, folks. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is it just packed over? Or is it wrapped? Ooh, it is actually wrapped. Holy smokes. Alright. Alright. We're gonna have fun here. Alright, let's see, let's see. They're not messing around with their packaging, folks. Not messing around at all. Things heavy. No. That's printed on this shipper. He Man and the Masters of the Universe A Character Guide and World Compendium Supplement Volume 1 Hardcover Dark Horse Comics. Take a quick glance at this before we get to the main event. I don't have. The original character guide and world compendium. So I had to pick that up. I had to get this supplemental. Wow. Look at that beauty. Supplement volume one. Look at that amazing artwork on the back. The universe of He-Man and She-Ra is full of mystery, and thanks to this update with additional entries covering its characters, beasts, vehicles, locations, weapons, and magic, you can learn all of its secrets. This supplement adds to the most comprehensive He-Man and She-Ra guide ever published, covering all things Masters of the Universe and Princess of Power 
from 1982 to today from Mattel, MV Creations, and Dark Horse Comics. Dark Horse Books. Hell yeah. Get a little, uh, get a little quick look at the thing. There. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Slide that back in the little shipper cardboard. Set it on the floor. We're gonna get to the the big magilla. The big ragu. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Hardcover. Publisher, Dark Horse Comics, LLC. Alrighty. This big beauty has many contributors. Some large, some small, but this is, without a doubt, Pixel Dan Eardley's book. Wadoom! This thing is massive, heavy, and without a doubt, beautiful. It's got plastic on it to protect it. Oh, Jesus. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Also featuring She-Ra, Princess of Power. Look at these beautiful photos here. Flip it around to the spine. The Toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. Eardly. <laughs> nice. Oh my god, this is... Oh, shit. This thing is so hard to manage standing up like this. Man. A massive 700 plus page full color hardcover chronicling the quintessential toys of He Man, She Ra, and the other masters of the universe. Contains in depth overviews of every item in several complete toy lines, including. 1982's Masters of the Universe, 2002's Masters of the Universe Relaunch, and 2008's Masters of the Universe Classics. Showcasing documentation of the toy's development and unique variants, each entry also includes photographic reference of the heroic figures and playsets from decades of development. Also featuring never-before-seen interviews and designer commentary from the toy's creators. This compendium is the perfect addition to any Masters of the Universe fans collection. My collection. By the power of Grayskull, you have the power. Oh my god. Alright. Now. Pixel Dan... Is super fond of Mosquitoor. That's why he's in the castle. Because that over there is a childhood survivor. I'll take a quick look here. That Prince Adam I never had as a kid. That's a pickup from a toy shop. And... Survivor, 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 survivor. I got a couple survivors in not so great shape. I'll be happy to show you those in a minute. Ugh. Beautiful card. I have to save that. Oh. A snake Mountain in the picture there. You know, let's read the back. The action figure industry was changed forever. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I got tired of it. Got tired of reading, folks. Tired of reading. Ugh. Wow. 
Let's see if I can get my camera to stay where I want it. Looking down at the book. Stop wandering, camera. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Is that tightened up the thing? Let's see. Nope. <laughs> All right. All right, folks. Get this light adjusted here. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Or we can just turn that one off. There we go. Let's take a glance at the book yeah this thing is something I've been needing wanting looking for yeah this this book is pretty much everything for the he-man toy collector folks wow that is a massive amount of pictures all in one little spot. Table of contents from Dan Eardley. Forward. I'm not going to read it to you because you'd be bored. We got chapter one. Masters with a bunch of interviews. Chapter two. Princess of Power. Chapter three. He-Man 89. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Let, let, let's look something up. Let's look something up. Heaven. I mean, let me check something. Is there an appendix? That would be cool. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's see. Let's find... Let's find that guy, because I don't know his actual name. Look at the classic series. Number nine. That is He-Man. Wow. Battle armor He-Man. Let's see. What version of He-Man is he? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Never had Blade. But I got Gwildor. Whew. It's a couple pages in. Good lord, folks. Man. All these beautiful photos. You know, I got a I got drag store. I didn't bring him out. But I got him. I don't have any accessories. But I got him. Man, that's a lot of photos. Holy crap. I got that shield. Huh. I had no idea where the hell it went to. I guess I could say it went with uh, Extendar. If nothing else. Wow. Got Faker. I got Fisto. No accessories, though. I don't even think I got armor. Woo. Flying Fist He-Man. Hell yeah. That one over there. Flying Fist He-Man. I've got a broken clip shield. Got that thing. I got two of him actually. Only one set of accessories. No clip in the back. Interesting. Interesting. Fright Zone. Grizzlor. I got Grizzlor. Hey, my old friend Gwildor. <laughs> he's beat to hell. Look at him. Look at him. He's beat up. But he's complete. <laughs> no comic. Technically not complete. <laughs> nice. Classic He-Man. Hordak. Hurricane Hordak. Jet Sled. Cool. 
Is he, is he called Thunder Punch He Man? Maybe. Laser Power He Man. Never had him. Mantena. We got a Mantena. Moss Man. I got him. I got a Moss Man right over there. Hell yeah. Hey, it's Mosquito. I do not have the Roto Laser Gun accessory. I'll tell you what. This beautiful baby still works. Look at that blood pump, folks. Hell yeah. Looking forward to a new version of that. Multi butt nut had that one somewhere. Or bear Orco. I got an Orco. No pull strap though. Good. Prince Adam. Road Ripper. No pull strap for him. Roboto, Rockon, Rokon, however you want to pronounce that. Sarad. See, now Sarad, I don't have his laser pistol. And that's the condition he's in. But, that still works. Skeletor. No accessories with Skeletor there. Except the staff. Do, 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 do. Sorceress. Snout Spout. I've got him. I don't have his Fire Axe. Spikor. He's busted. No accessory. Still stuck. Squeeze. I don't have his Pet Snake accessory. But he's up there hanging from the castle. Come on. Come on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's he at? Thunder Punch He-Man. There he is. <laughs> These are awesome pictures. That's right. He is a cap. Powered. Nice. He does not have any accessories. But I was right. Thunder Punch He Man. Yes. Man. Okay, let, let's 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 fast forward. Let's fast forward. Do, 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 do. She Ra Classics, but not classics, that's the 2002 series. Wow, so many variations. Mecha Bite Battle Cat, Samurai Battle Cat, I got that one. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Where? I saw him. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Dark Despot Skeletor. <laughs> so freaking cool, folks. Man. Movie Skeletor, folks. Damn, this book is beautiful. Gwildor. Hell yeah. Lord Dactus. Ooh, maps. I need some maps. Panthor. I don't have too many classics, to be honest with you. Ram Man. I want one of him. Rebel Leader He-Man. Hell yeah. 
awesome. Damn, folks, I could go on for hours and hours just flipping through this book, but I would bore the ever-loving hell out of you. Spirit of Grace Go. I almost had one of them. God, I need to... Uh, Dan, and all folks that helped you, man. So cool. So cool. You guys absolutely killed it with this book. I could not be any happier as a He-Man slash Masters of the Universe fan. Pixel Dan, I hope to catch up to you at a, a con at some point. Because I absolutely want you, John Hancock, on this Beautiful volume. Maybe some uh, silver ink right down here at the bottom. All right, ladies and gentlemen. That is my quick look at the toys of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe from Pixel Dan. All the folks that helped him. Mattel and Dark Horse Books. Oh, God, this thing's awesome. I'm going to spend so many hours looking at this damn thing. Shit. Peace.